Hi, this video for a customer bought the T7500 on the eBay. And if you see this machine is currently boot up, working fine. So let's try to change the processor. Make sure you hurt yourself every time you touch the electronic equipment. Pull out the power cord first. And as we are testing, very quick test, so it doesn't need to screw down the heat sink. But you can screw it down if you want. This processor is E52620 quad core. The reason being of try to use this processor just now because this W3520 is a workstation type CPU so we just put this one in put it here and yep we doesn't need to screw down because we just try to fire up and show the arrow code on the machine itself so yep if you see this arrow two three four and the amber light the cpu is not support or the cpu is faulty but i know the cpu is working because the cpu was taken from another dell t3500 and let's put back this put back this one yep pin down this just temporarily put this back uh, make sure you hurt yourself every time before you touch those things and let's see same machine the arrow just goes away The video is um, unedited. Uh, we haven't put any things in the machine, so there's no boot device. So the system board detail. If you have the same arrow, 2, 3, 4, with the amber light, it might be the CPU problem, so...
same machine here. And I used to have a so-called IT engineer customer, like he claimed himself is an electronic engineer. Return a T7500 without plugging this cable. So he just complained and opened an eBay case. Say your item is faulty, it's not working, it doesn't work. He spent five hours, six hours working on the machine and he didn't plug in this cable. And you got another one here to plug in the riser. If you have a riser module for the second CPU.